The day before I was to testify at Ted's Miami trial, I went to visit him at the Dade County Jail. And he was lying on the cell floor, and he was crying. And uh, he was very upset. And that's when he looked at me from the floor with tears in his eyes and said, uh, John, I really want to be a good person. I'm just not. And that's when he told me, and I think the only person he told was that um, the first person he killed was a young boy uh, when they were playing some kind of sex game in the woods. Um, and so he must have been only 12, 13, or 14. I didn't go into a lot of detail because I didn't need to or want to. Ted told me in that interview that he killed over 100 people. And then he told me he'd been active in the Northeast, Idaho, and for the first time, California. I think he was purging himself. And I think for a brief period of time, that small part of him that recognized that he was evil came out. That was the time when I felt most like, I don't want to be here. I'm not sure I even want to be a defense lawyer. I remember holding the, the jail cell not facing Ted, and I was going, you know, what the hell are you doing here? You know, why are you doing helping this uh, disgusting person? When Ted began confessing a lot of things, and, and John couldn't talk about what Ted confessed until Ted died because of the attorney-client privilege, which was it wasn't 36 dead girls, it was over 100, and the details of what he did to their bodies um, and did to them when they were alive. What a horrible burden, you know, to deal with someone like that. That's the worst of the worst, the most heinous of the heinous. And all of those details, John had to keep to himself. And I think that had to be torture. And also it was in that conversation where he told me that he knew about the death of my girlfriend, the first time I'd heard that from Ted. So that obviously upset me greatly. I, there's no belief uh, amongst the police authorities now that Ted had anything to do with Deborah's murder. But she did fit the profile of all the people that he was killing. It was almost beyond coincidence, but I believe, as I say, I don't, I mean, I, I have to believe that Ted had nothing to do with Deborah's death. I have to believe that because I could never forgive myself if he did. But the fact that he knew about it and then chose me is very creepy. I don't know that it's explainable. At one point, I excused myself and went to the men's room and got sick to my stomach. And his emotional state went on for an hour or more, maybe two. And then uh, all of a sudden, I said something like, why are you telling me all this? And he just completely snapped back into his lawyer-like mode and got up, sat on the bunk, washed his face off, Everything was fine. And I find that very chilling and haunting.